Welcome to my Larry Pinter as you've never seen before series of videos. This video is day 12 where I leave Serpentine Chalet um, and uh, proceed up in Alanga uh, Pass uh, which has got yeah, just the most amazing uh, Aboriginal spirituality about it um, and um, some unbelievable sort of geological uh, formations which are yeah, just simply amazing. I then follow the uh, Caterpillar route, uh, which is basically what you're seeing when you're looking down um, uh, from Counts Point uh, towards Mount Sonder, um, and um, then cut through to um, Waterfall Gorge, which is yeah, beautiful, beautiful spot. Uh, have a deep, steep ascent there from um, from Waterfall Gorge up to uh, Mount Giles Lookout, and up there, yeah, again treated with the most amazing um, sunset and beautiful night skies. So yeah, sit back, enjoy this video, and uh, yeah, if you like it and you want to see uh, how I went on the subsequent uh, days, yeah, press subscribe. Enjoy. morning. Having just walked through a nice little field of uh, the Northern Territory's um, uh, floral emblem. Um, on my way to Mount Giles Lookout um, and uh, yeah looking forward to today going through um, uh, Inalilinga Pass. Uh, which is, um, yeah, by all accounts, beautiful um, gully, valley, pass, I guess. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to going through there. Um, yeah, feeling um, quite well rested after a short day yesterday and not doing too much yesterday and, um, yeah, having a nice swim and freshening up and freshening up clothes and all that sort of stuff. So, feeling pretty good. So we're on section 9, uh, this is the one where you've got to take 30 kilometres worth of water with you, two days worth of water. So I'm quite used to that because I've been doing that a fair amount anyway. Because um, you know, when I've um, been camping up on the high, high parts I've always had two, uh, two days worth of water with me. So feeling yeah, pretty good so far. I'll tell you how I feel in about 15 kilometres. Really enjoying this experience. Uh, you know, the stars and the wilderness and yeah, just everything. Anyway, it will be over far too soon. All right, see you on the way. You walk through uh, here and really you'd be totally oblivious to um, you know, what's present in these in these ravines and gullies as I enter a, a, a Langa pass here um, just want to pay my respects to the traditional custodians of uh, well this whole area quite quite honestly um, and uh, in particular yeah uh, just to you know thank them for allowing us permission to go through this very sacred area um, so this is um, important to them because it is a boundary between two different clans um, those who looked after the, you know the side of the mountains and those um, who are from the other side of the mountains so um, yeah, quite an important um, part of their um, part of their lives. It's also the route through which uh, men passed to um, conduct their sort of men's business at at um, uh, Mount Giles Spring, I think it's called. Um, so um, anyway, thanks. Um, yeah, really, really appreciate um, that you know we're allowed to do this. Just be 
around like that. A real sense of the forces that have impacted this country. It's amazing. This is an amazing piece of geology. I think this is once a seabed. And so is that. And so is that. And up there. And then forces push this into the ground towards the centre of the earth and essentially cook the sand to turn it into this quartzite material um, and then forces have brought it back up again I can't remember my dates but I think I'm walking on the seabed that was laid down I think 500 million years ago but might be more than that When you really contemplate that, that's just a remarkable thing. As you're coming through uh, Inalango Pass, um, I really yeah, would, would suggest you just stop and look up and just savour this. It's a remarkable um, area. Through here we're walking through the Caterpillar Dreaming Country and right up the top there is Counts Point. So just the other day we were watching the sunrise over this area and set.
That saddle's getting closer, but very slowly. It's certainly a uh, destination up there. Well, we did the first shoulder. <laughs> it's windy up here. Got another one to do. I'm gonna sit and have some lunch now. So the water is down there and I think you can get there from up this way. litre of water but I'm going to filter it and sterilize it gems have been really really important for First Nations people. Glutes are getting a workout. We have the firmest buckets in Sydney. Now there is some scrambling required. Bit. So, hands and feet. Now this is what 
what you call reward for effort. track of the uh, switchbacks about count of two I lost the wheel but count the base is a bit rough yeah it's not too good this one's got no shelter I'm thinking that's the one unfortunately it's a big black ants I think so as well It flies are getting on my whatevers, so I've uh, put the hair net in on hair net, whatever, fly net. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to sit here in the shade for a bit. And uh, look out over Mount Giles. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little shaded spot, spoiled by somebody who thinks it's acceptable to do their business and just put rocks on it and leave their toilet paper. I mean, that's, that's gross. And it's not like you couldn't dig a hole here. It's, it'd be possible to dig a hole here. That, that is, that's seriously gross. Don't know why anybody would think that's acceptable. It's a shame because I was going to sit here. <laughs>